What is going on guys, it is Venom Surge here, and welcome back to another Destiny Weekly Reset. I am a little sick, so my voice is going to be a little off today, sorry about that. It is currently May 16th, and for this week it is actually the end of the Guardian game, so get your last points in Titans, we need to win this thing. So, make sure you get your points in, continue that grind. I believe also the Vanguard, Strikes, and Nightfalls are actually going to be providing extra reputation towards Zavala. If you still have reputation upgrades that you can get from Zavala, such as these last two that I have here, then you will want to get that in while you can. This is the end of the season, so you will want to be making sure you are ready for the next season and get everything you are wanting. But first up, let's go check out what Banshee44 has for us. So he is the Whispering Slab with Quick Draw and Unrelenting, Judgment of Kelgorath with Pugilist and Wellspring as well as Ambush, Cold Denial with Zen Moment and Sympathetic Arsenal. Boudicca C with Threat Detector and One for All. And then Falling Guillotine with Relentless Strikes and Counter Attack. Then we got the Ragonil D with Dual Loader and Demolitionist. That's an interesting combination with the Hacky Breach Armaments. We also got the Jakara with the Fourth Times a Charm and Gut Shot Straight. We also got the Vision with full auto trigger system and elemental capacitor. The Aquilos hand cannon with off hand strike and adaptive munitions. The Typhon grenade launcher with explosive light. That is really good and unrelenting. So that might not be a bad roll. And then we also got the Marsilian C with envious assassin and danger zone. So guys, next up, we are going down to Ada. Because it is the last week of the season, make sure you get the final 10 bounties for your armor synthesis. This is going to be resetting next week, so you want to get all of them as possible. As far as the armor, we have Devastation Complex on the Titan, and the legs are actually got a pretty spiky roll in Discipline. That's a pretty nice one, although it is low stat. I would not buy this if it was me, but if you don't have high stat gear, that could be a great option. As far as the shaders, we have Envious Touch. Gives this nice like chrome effect going on. Then we have Echoes of Io. As well as Dead Orbit Vision. Okay guys, then for the Hunter, we got the Road Complex outfit. And then on the Warlock, we have the High-Minded Complex. And then guys, because it is the last week of the Guardian Games, make sure you also get your runs into these because you do get the Pinnacle Gear from here if you are past the hard cap. And if you are under the hard cap, you can still do your powerful gear on your normal weekly bounties. And then guys, in Eververse, we got the Torchlight for 3200 Bright Dust. We also have the triple bogey for 2,500. The contender's entrance, transmat effect. And then we got photo finish as the shader. It's actually quite nice on my armor that I got. And then the vibrant Medusa shader. The very intense green vibrant is very correct. And then down in the bright dust, we have Gladiator Blows. Then we got Power Lift. Just doing something for research sakes, you know. Damn, boy, he thick, boy! Anywho, we got a tug of war shell. Then a pistol pose. 
We also got the Victory Herald. And then the ornament for the heir apparent. And then finally the trophy projection ghost shell. Then we got verdant chrome shader. The verdant crown shader. The rival rivalry black sand. It's also quite nice. I like that. And then the grayscale undergrowth. We got the cherry blossom entrance. The AI Com reboot. It's like a Siva or Rasputin thing. I like that. And then finally the contender entrance, which I believe is the same one as on the main page. And then guys, for the weekly raid, it is going to be Keen's Fall on rotation right now, which is amazing. I really love the raid. It's one of my favorites. But I am also going to be farming that for the Touch of Malice and some better weapons and armor. For the dungeon, it is Grasp of Avarice this week, so get your runs in there, especially if you haven't done your Galhorn quest yet. For the Crucible, we still have the Supremacy from the Guardian games, and then our normal Control and Clash. And then over here in Niamuna, we have Downfall as the Heroic Campaign with your Barrier and Unstops. Void and Strand Surge and Trace Rifle damage is increased. And then the Partition Ordinance is over here in Amesia Park. And the Vex Incursion Zone is also in Amesia Park. And then guys, for the Legend and Master Law Sectors, this week we are starting with Thilodrome dropping the heads, Hydrophonics, Delta with the legs, Gilded Preset, with the arms, excavation site with the chest, sky dock 14 with the head, and then the quarry with the legs, with May 22nd being the weekly reset for the next season. So guys, make sure to like and subscribe if you guys wanna get more weekly resets as well as their update videos. Just from the difference from the beginning of this episode to the end, the Warlocks have already started bursting up, so Titans we got to get a roll on. Let's win this thing. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will see you guys next time.